Follow me, ma'am. There's something I can do for you. Hello there. How are you? I'm doing just fine. What is it you need? What do I need? Yes. Am I supposed to need something? Well, I was curious. I am a stranger, and you were saying hello to me. And I turned around to see what the commotion was about. The D? Was it... See, she greeted you as well. Is it uh, strange to say hello to people no, uh, that is not usually insane to me. Most folks are pretty keep to themselves, uh, you know, hoity-toity. You know how it is. It just caught me off guard because then I was on my way somewhere. But, uh, hello to you as well, man. Pleasure. Just being polite. Not a worry. I'll tell you, in the state, it's, it's so back and forth. People are polite or they're not polite. Hello is good, hello is bad. Just how it is around here on occasion. I guess it depends on the connotations of how you're speaking, though, mister. That is true as well. If you don't speak the right way, will folk take offense when suddenly they don't like your hello? Well, these days, people have been saying hello as in to get my attention and then ask questions has been my routine lately. Uh, that is why my reaction is as such. Uh, what was her name, by the way? I don't think I've caught it, if you did say it. Well, my friend calls me Amy. Usually what I go by. Well, Amy, it's a pleasure to meet you. Okay, well, sorry to interrupt your rush. Uh, no worries. I was just trying to get to... Uh, Roads of haste, but for no good reason other than just get to the bank. Well, I'm more than you're more than welcome to ride along with me, and I will be, gentlemen. I assure you. Okay. I like the parlor house out there. They got good coffee. They do, and Miss Rosa is quite the firecracker as well, I might add. Definitely keeps it interesting. Well, it's not Sicilian blood, she says. I get how she wants things neat and clean, but uh, sometimes her courtesy can be confused for rudeness as well, vice versa, because she comes from a distant land, so most of the time when she is being rude, I let it slide, considering that she is a foreigner and has different customs. I, I like to think that Miss Rosa is an acquired taste. That is a better way to put it. I could not say so better myself. Ooh, well, better watch ourselves. I hear outlaws like to take advantage of conditions like this. Is that so? Yes, sir. Oh, pardon, pardon. Hey. Lots of folk on the road tonight. Oh, nice. nice evening. And I, I do, I do apologize, Mister. I, I, I did not ask your name. Oh, it's Rocker Lundell. Pleasure's mine. Oh, pleasure, Rocker. That's a, an odd name, but it's a good name. That sounds strong. I don't think so as well. They are. Uh, I think I did introduce you myself in the when we first met, but I said it pretty fast. So pardon me as well. That's alright. It was kind of sudden. No worries at all. So, what is a lovely lady like yourself traveling by herself around here? If it wasn't for myself, I imagine you would have walked here on your lonesome. Well, most people don't bother me much on the road, I suppose. I don't got much for anyone to take, so I don't really think too much about traveling alone. Well, this road, luckily enough, is a civilized road, unlike some roads in Odessa. I don't always take care. Do you carry yourself a weapon to protect yourself, ma'am? Yeah, I do. It's not much, but it's a weapon. Well, hopefully you have it ready just in case uh, an unfortunate situation does befall you. You are prepared and ready, for which might save your life. Because you know how it is. Men and women alike can be quite the beast sometimes when they get the demons inside. People are worse than the animals out there themselves. I can agree. 
with that 100%. Alright, mister. Uh, Glendale as it was. Amy, if I'm correct. Thank you for riding with me. I appreciate it. There you go. It is not a worry, ma'am. It is not a worry. And I will do it again if you were to ask me again as well. Oh, well, I really appreciate that. Good evening, sir. Good evening to you as well, gentlemen. Well, there, if I can get a hot coffee, please. So what is it do you do around here? I, I would imagine a woman such as your own beauty is a dancer of sorts. Maybe up the uh, theaters in Saint Denis. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, there was this French fellow that asked if I would act in a play for him, but I told him I'm I'm not a very good actress. The only French fellow I know around here is a male. Uh, am I guessing right? I I think that's what he said. His name was yes. Wears a lot of yellow. Likes to stand out like a sunshine. Yes, kind of very, uh, oh, what's the word for it? Flamboyant? Yes, sir, yes, uh, I agree. Uh, uh, give me a moment, Amy. I need to use the owl house for a second. Pardon me. Okay. Oh, did you see what a nice lady would, by the way, Zip, if you did see one in here? Uh... I I did not. I just uh, I just rolled in. You know what the uh, nice lady's name was, or uh, Amy? She was just in here. I had to go use the uh, outhouse out there. She must have moved on, unless I didn't see her walking in. All right then. Well, I imagine she must have been busy. And had to go. Oh, there she is! Oh, oh here's a lady I for also, you. I also uh, had to uh, excuse myself for a moment. I'm so sorry, Mr. Glendale. Oh, not a worry, not a worry. Uh, how would you folks feel for a spot of music? I think I feel uh, a song coming on here. All right, that then. That would be great. Thank you. One of my favorite joys in life is spreading the sound of music here. Oh, I bet. Some drinks for you folks. Uh, I just had a beer, so I'm all right. Mr. Rock of London. Whoa, whoa. You get off that goddamn piano right now and put your fucking hands up. You do less than that, you're getting shot. All right, you're shot. going to get up here. Oh. Now, now, what? All right. What is this about? Yeah. I am quite you surprised. Can away from me. You can face away from where we're going to talk exactly what it's about. How about that? All right, I'm listening. You have my full attention. Um, I'm assuming I fucking do. Mark, get him with the ropes now. You're a hard man to find, Mr. Lundale. All right, hands down, Mr. Lundale. I'm sure I'm about to find oh, I'm sure I'm about to find out what this is about. Mm. Yes, you is, Mr. Lundale. Yes, exactly, you is. Damn, I didn't mean to. Tell Rosa I'll pay for the well, damage I did. Shit. Yeah, there's a shot in the ceiling. It's all right there. All right. I don't want to sleep or get the bad smell of that place. Mr. Lundell, any idea why we arrest you right now? I am honestly unaware. If I committed a crime, I probably would have come back to town. It's my thought. Well, that is a good thought to have there, Mr. Lundell. You know, you really can't tickle them ivories real well. I'm gonna give you a real bad time in that cell, though. So it's gonna probably be the last good member you have for a long time, Mr. Lundell. Now, now, now what is this about? You're about to find out, but before we do get in there, I'm gonna tell you this, I'm gonna tell you this real clear. If I even get a whiff that you're lying to me, this is going to get real bad. I don't think I've had someone with so much on them until now. And honestly, it's not someone that I don't even respect that much, Mr. Lundell, because I've figured out you've been lying to my ass, and I don't like being lied to. Lying about what, exactly? We're going to talk about it in the cell, ain't we? Yes, we is. 
I'm gonna search him, see what he has on him. Search everywhere, and I mean oh. everywhere that man could touch him. Oh. I am willing to co cooperate 100%. I, I have no understanding why or what you think I'm lying Mr. for. Lundell, we, we, we will get to your cooperation, and I will tell you right now, as a man of my word. The second you don't cooperate, I will put your brain over that back wall. Because that's about what you're going to get up at default. You understand me? I understand. I much, I much rather avoid that, sir. I see. Well, let's just let's make this very clear. You well, don't go up to the fault for wet and theft. I know what you've been up to. What, what would that be? Well, once you've been searched and disarmed, we'll talk about what you've been up to. In fact, I got a better idea. You're gonna, you're gonna tell us what you've been up to. It's all y'all self. Get rid of all this shit. Bring it all out here. Make sure he don't have nothing. No knives, no ropes, no nothing at all. Help. I'll do a perimeter check, Mark. All right. Let's grab those. <laughs> Sorry about that. I will. Uh, I will take the fines now. Hey now. I'll be wiggling out of those. <gasps> All right, I get out of here. Oh. You can work the rest of the way out. Thanks be back in just a moment. Well, I still don't know if this is about what lies supposedly I'm saying. Well, I suggest you be real honest with Biggs, because he uh, doesn't take too kind, kindly to people who lie. As I know, and I don't know what this is about, I'm assuming someone has said something about me lately since I've arrived to Odisha. People have been making up all kinds of stories about myself. Well, we'll uh, figure that out, Mr. Lundale. I sure we will. How long you been here in Odessa? Well, about, about a month now, I assume. All right, all right. Lundale, Lundale, Lundale. Now, I should mention, oh, I mentioned it twice, I guess, when Biggs is back. There are folks from my past here who don't much care for me, but I come to Odessa as a changed man, not trying to uh, share in on the same misdeeds of the past. Ah. Uh, yeah, I believe I remember you, Mr. Lundale, from uh, a different state. But, uh, it'd be. Oh, All man. right. Mm. That that cell all locked up, Mark. Yep. All right. Mister Lundell, I'm gonna suggest that you think very much about what you say before you start talking. Now, I'm gonna say and to give you a real good heads up. I know everything, everything you have been up to. 
I'm going to give you one chance to tell me everything it is I know, and if you miss out any details and I find that, I'll be taking your ass up to the fault so fast. Your feet won't even touch the ground from here up to Fort Wallace. You understand? All right, then. What, what is this about, then? What is, what is it? Well, Mr. Lundell, this is the part where you tell me I don't come into the saloon and shoot the damn scene unless it's real bad now. So why don't you tell me what this is about, Mr. Lundell, while you find yourself in a cell? The only thing I can think of is maybe uh, myself trying to go after Ricky myself for him robbing me and then shooting me as well. I don't think that would get me in here, though. Not like this, at least. And that's all you have. You, you went after him. You tried to go after him, you said, so you didn't even attempt. Uh, you attempted, but did not succeed. You, you tried to find the man, that's understandable. But you did not actually find the man. You said you, said you were tried to find him. Yeah, but he, he ended up shooting me from the rooftops instead when I was riding off St. Denis. Now, see, why don't you tell me about that there, Mr. Lundell? Well, Ricky, the man in red, the rooftop rat, whatever you want to call him, shot me from the rooftops as I was going by. He admitted that to the uh, Plicky Binders, I believe. He said that, uh, they said to me that he admitted everything he did and who he was and so on. Myself, I'll after that, so I had to be dragged to the... He got dragged, he got dragged away. I had to be dragged to the uh, little hospital there on St. Denis and uh, patched up by a doctor. I forget her name now. And then uh, after that, um, I believe uh, Piggy Blinders had caught up with Ricky and Ricky had tried to shoot one of theirs. And then they took him away. But I also hear he got away as well, himself. From what they told me, at least, that is. You tell tell me all of that again with more detail and don't skip none. I rode with okay. I'll go a little farther back than before when I started to look for him, Mister Biggs. I asked John. T tell me about the rooftop. Tell me about how he shot up you on the rooftop. All right. I was riding my horse out of Saint Denis after I ended my search because I didn't find him myself. He found me. So as I'm riding out, he shoots at me from the rooftops. I try to go find him and I get shot down in the alleyway. I even have a bolt one to show you if you want to see it as well. I would not like to see that. I believe you got shot by the man in red from the rooftops, Ricky Thompson. All right, so you were seen to by the doctor, and then tell me in excruciating detail just what happened from then on out. After that, after I was patched up, I left my way out of the marching anger, by the way, because I was just shot by some damn asshole to see that uh, the Peaky Blinders had found themselves taking a hold of uh, Ricky, the man in red, and they took it from there. I was much too weak from blood loss to follow them, so I went on my way to rest and relax. And I laid down over by the uh, medical place for a bit until I was able to recover myself, which I did later the next day. Hmm. So... I you did not shoot uh, him yourself. I did not. I have, a lot of, I have a lot of people saying, Mr. Lundell, but you have shot Mr. Ricky yourself as he was pissing against that church now. A lot of witnesses saying that. Well, that's a surprise then, because I didn't shoot near the church. I've been the church there in uh, St. Denis, the church here in Rhodes. Make sure I understand where you're getting at. Saint Denis? I mean, no, I did not shoot him. him. I didn't get a Why? chance to shoot him. And I would have loved to shoot him, by the way, considering that he's been a pain in my ass since uh, this whole thing started. But I did not get lucky enough he's to go and shoot the man. Mm, he's been a pain in everyone's ass, Mr. Lundell. But I do have multiple witnesses telling me that you watched out that doctor's office because you were told he was out there. And then when you waddled out of the doctor's office, you pulled out a pistol and you shot that man in cold blood and hot piss. Running down his leg, it was. No, it was, it was not me whatsoever. I did not shoot the man. I would have if I could have, but I didn't. 
I don't know, he's, he's a scoundrel. He robbed me. It would have been justice anyways. But I did not get the pleasure to do that, Mr. Biggs. It would not have been justice at all. Fine morning today. You could have taken a bounty on the man, and you could have gone and done it all legally. It would have been justice about hey. then. Mm, now, do you think a man who was just shot woke up in the, in the doctor's office would have quickly gone off his way Marry way to go and shoot a man in the street just like that yes yes with the anger you said to carry you outside of there i exactly believe that because you told me it <laughs> mr lundale is there anything else you want to tell me about other than this attempted murder i have a sense i'm being set up right now by whom i'm not sure but myself did not kill the man i also heard he lived as well from what they told me that is well, I have a letter here from a man in Redwater to talk to yeah, us. He is yet to respond to the letters that have been sent. In fact, he has stopped responding altogether for days now. Wait. Why would Who the man in red... Listening in. Come on, Mr. Lundale. I, he asked a great question. I didn't hear what he said. Who told, Who told you, he, you lived? That he lived? The uh, Bobby did. From the Peaky Blinders. Bobby Redson told you he lived. Yes, and then uh. He lived from what, Mr. Lundale? Now he got away from them near the water, on the way when they were gonna deal with him or something like that, because they he outslided them somehow, and then I, he told me that what's his name um. Riley had a gun for me that was his, but he, I never met up with Riley to get it or whatsoever. Now I'm starting to think now maybe it's them who may be trying to frame me for something, which I did not do myself. So Y'all telling me that they told you that he lived, but you don't know what that means. Uh, unless the man has been hurt, why would it be brought into question, Mr. Now, Lundell? Now, I heard he lived because he got away. I heard he ran off towards the, the water side or something like that. That's what they told me, at least. That's the funny thing, Mr. Lundell. Everyone that was there saying that you shot him. Now, let me tell you something. If I were to murder a man and then decide to walk right back into town, I think you know me from the past. I'd be fairly against my character, now would it? So brazenly walk back into town after murdering somebody. Mark put the shotgun against his head. If I think he's lying to me, I'll tell you to pull the trigger. I'll just say he pulled a gun and put one on him. Mr. Lundell, we're going to have a little talk here. Now, now, there's no need to blow my brains out of this. Because I'm innocent here. I did not commit no Mr. damn Lundell, crime. Relax. Relax, Mr. Lundell. Relax. Mr. West. Riker, you're being real loud and the whole town can hear you. Barn in the barn, apparently. I'll get the dog. Mr. Lundale, we gonna talk. If I think this is a lie, it's gonna be all she wrote for you, Mr. Lundale. Your plans to come to Rhodes, tell me what they is. Go ahead. My plans to come to Rhodes? You're saying what? what? What are my plans to come to Rhodes? Yes. Well, it was to go relax and enjoy myself since I was feeling less stressed. To go play the piano, drink a bit at the saloon. I wasn't planning anything. And I'm telling you the goddamn your, truth right is, now. Is that your final answer for me there, Mr. Yes, I, I don't know what, what else I, I could say. What about the goddamn plans you have here to come and do a job with your friends from Van Horn, Mr. Lundy? I don't have any friends in Van Horn. I'm by myself. Not what I've been told. A lot of birds like to chirp and come back to their nest. You don't like to come back to the nest. You got them free names about the wagon thieves over in goddamn Emerald Ranch, Mr. Lundale? I haven't had a chance to get them, but I have been looking, no, and I swear to you. you busy planning a job in fucking Rhodes, cocksucker. I haven't been planning any damn job! I want to live! I've tried to change my past, and I'm not planning any jobs, Mr. Big. 
I don't even have a crew to myself. Hmm. I'm not one man to do one thing by myself. Because if I wanted to plan a job, I would have insurance. I would scout things out. I would have boys and friends and things to do that. But I'm one man. I'm not the silver bastards anymore. It is just me, Rocker Lundell, friendless, and the new Odessa. What about Johnny Vallad? He's yep. friendless. Him and I have been friends in the past. I'd say maybe we still are, but him and I are not working together. He is working on his own. He is flying solo. He's been scouting out town. I've seen him here this week. He gonna keep lying. I'm not lying at all. I very much w do want to keep my head, Mr. Bakes. I haven't been planning, I would scheming. You keep it. A little bit of thinking you all keep below Mr. Lundell is about to find this fucking roof. You ain't gonna tell me the truth now. I am telling you the goddamn truth, Mr. Biggs. I am not plotting against this town. I'm not planning. I'm being set up. I'll tell you the truth right now, Mr. Biggs. Right, so you didn't shoot the man. It was the blinders that did it all and walked off with him. You want me to believe that? Multiple witness statements put you there shooting that man in cold blood. Well, I did not do that. And if I did kill a man in cold blood, I would have not walked back into town to be seen so easily. In the past, I can tell you, I've done things. I've had a checkered past, Mr. Biggs, but I do not do oh, things so sloppy. Have. I am not a sloppy man. I like to plan You're things out. You're a sloppy man. Before I had a badge, you told me about plans to poison the state governor. You were sloppy as they fucking come, Lundell. You were a snake. A goddamn snake slivering through the fucking grass, ain't you? I've come to Odessa, Mr. Biggs, to make a difference for myself. And I try. Yeah, all you want to do is make a difference for yourself. I agree with that. Very much so. Lower the gun, Mark. Lower the gun. Lock the cell back up. I don't like you, Mr. Lundell. I ain't gonna kill you like that. Well, I appreciate you not killing me savagely, but at least I can see that how you feel. I'm gonna be charging you with the attempted murder of Ricky Thompson, a man in red. You're gonna go up to the Fort Wallace. I know what you up to here in Rhodes, Mr. Lundell. You might deny it, but I know what you up to. The people you planned it with been tripping in my ear. Now, you don't have to go up to the fault if you tell me all about it. Ask, let me ask you one question, Biggs. Mark Chanwick, and we should be going up to the fault with this fella. He's going to go away for a long time for the attempted murder. Is anybody oh, whispering this name of Jimmy Lightfoot by any chance? Him and I are definitely at odds. From past situations. Oh. oh, I know you is. Oh, I know you is. He told me all about the odds you had. You got any other enemies? Because if you don't name the fellas that are telling me about your plans to come do a job in Rhodes, then you're going up to the fault. The only enemies I can think of that I have had unfortunate ties with in the past would be Jimmy Lightfoot and Ricky at this point. Magnolia, get the hell out of here right now. Next time you come in here, when we question someone, you're gonna get shot. Something like that. It... All right, sweetie. Did you find your husband? Oh, that's unfortunate. I'll be outside soon. Don't do that. Again. Sorry, Mr. London. Biggs, I tell you, I am being set up right now. I have not committed any crimes since I've been here. This besides the wagon robbery. It's entirely possible you are being... Does no one know how to fucking knock around here? Get the fuck out. All right. I was coming over at request of Under Sheriff Shepard. Apparently all needed Who to Who is not an Under Sheriff in this town? Sorry, Mr. Lundell. We were all born in a barn this day. Maybe old Mary gonna come down and give us another son of God. Now... We were talking. Like I said, the only enemies I can think of, top of my head, would be Jimmy Lightfoot. But I tried to put things between him and I under. I gave him an olive branch. He punched me at the Mud Festival. I left it at that. 
and then it'll be Ricky the Rat since I didn't pay my whatever to him. He wanted to get money out of me, and I didn't go along with it. And if he survived, right. I would be so high as if he had friends or not. I'm not sure. But other than that, I have no idea who could be framing me than what people I've mentioned. Well, every single person who gave his witness statement saying that you fucking did it, that's who might be framing you. May I know who they are? Now, Maybe I, I can give you more information. I have witness statements of foul people, foul people that I trust fully, that have never lied to me, ever. Why would I believe you? See where I'm at? I don't know what else I could tell you to show you my innocence. But I can tell you I'm not plotting a thing here in Odessa. All right, Mr. Lundell. You can stay seated if you want. Might be the last of the rest you get to have for a while. Oh, no. Ah, I'm telling you I'm Mr. innocent. Lundell. Mr. Lundell. Based on everything I have in the witness statements, I do have as well. I have no choice but to charge you with the attempted murder. If you have anything you can tell me that might change my mind or maybe lower this to assault, which would mean you would not go up to the fault and have a chance to hang him, I'm all ears. I believe some of what you're saying. I do. I do believe some of what you're saying, but I don't believe all of it. So unless you've got a good explanation to get yourself out of them bars now these ropes in the moment up to the fault, I believe you all shit out of luck, Mr. Lundell. Maybe you is being set up, but uh, evidence is stacked a lot against well, you. Let me at, think. This point, at this point, Mr. Lundell, you have not given me the names you promised me you would get from cutting you loose from that wagon theft. And all I'm hearing is what you're planning in revenge of such a thing. I'm going to think about it for a second. I'll give you all the time you need, Mr. Lundell. You are a known con man. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Biggs. For once in my ungrateful fucking life, this is the time I tied aside to tell the goddamn truth that I'm being set up here. All right. From when I was unconscious, when I woke up, things happened very fast. All I've seen is I come out the doors, I see you at the Peaky Blinders out, and then they have them men red, Ricky, in ropes, he gets out of ropes, he tries to shoot at them, and then he t they take him away. And that's all I hey, hear no, from them. You, you didn't say none of this before. I did! Get the clip on. Maybe you didn't catch it, but I, I, I've been speaking it. Slow it down so I can hear it this time. All right. When I walked out of the medical office, the streets by the church, they had already caught the man in red, Ricky. They had him in ropes, he got out, and he tried to shoot at one of their boys. So they shot him, because he attempted to murder one of them. He survived getting shot, they roped him up, he got medical attention from the doctor. Then they took Mark, him away. Mark, That's Mark, hold on, Mr. Lundell. Yep. Mark, you ride to St. Denis right now, and you go fetch me Tommy, Johnny, or Bobby right fucking now. Okay. Don't put him in ropes, tell him. Ask him if that happened in the exact order he said. All right. Uh, so go over it one more time just to make sure I have it correct. All right. When I woke up, I crawled in the milk office after being shot and got patched up just to stop the bleeding. So I had a wound. I walk out towards the church. The Peaky Blinders had already caught the son bitch. He was in ropes. He gets out of them. He attempts to shoot out one of them. He gets shot goes down, gets medical attention, and then they take him away. I hope to God they're not the ones trying to frame me because I hope they can clear this up. Mark, ride with paste. I will hold him here until then. He'll be serving time for the wagon theft at the very least. Okay. Mr. Right. Lundell, I'm gonna give you a slice of honor here. I don't think you deserve it how you been playing me with the wagon theft stuff. But I do think you were telling the truth a little bit. Now, it might be that people have been lying about what you did. We're going to get to the bottom before you go up to the fault. I owe you that. Well, I appreciate that, Mr. Biggs. And on the subject of the wagons, 
In all due respect, I have been looking, but I haven't had any luck yet. Well, your time's run out on that, Mr. Lundell. And I don't believe you're about doing the job here in Rhodes, but I do believe you're about the attempted and actually possible murder of a man in red. And let's face it, you plan to do a bank robbery, this means I want to come in there and beat the shit out of you. I'm not planning to do a bank robbery. Whatsoever. And now, whoever's saying that, they would have to know my past, which I'm sure the Peaky Blinders do not know my past. It's, it's not. It's no one from your past. I know that. If someone had overheard you talking in Van Horn to two fellas. Last time I was in Van Horn, I went there with John and I'm Yamoto. And I said, well, I met Yamoto because he wanted to hunt down, um, Ricky, because his woman friend had been shot, who he calls a sister by Ricky. And I was with John, and I think I was talking about my past with him, but I never mentioned plans to uh, rob any place. All right. Well, I don't believe that. But I do believe you didn't rob, attempted murder a man in red. And the attempted murder of the man in red is what will take you up to the fault and what will get you hung. Like I said, you planning on robbing some of me, I'm just going to lay some hands on you for a while. So let's get to the bottom of the big one, and we can worry about the small shit later on. Right now it's pissing and raining blood. But you maybe make it rain butter. Let's smooth things over, Mr. Lundell. I believe you. I believe you. Now, I have no intent of robbing roads. I have no intent. I did not even murder the man. I said anything I could do or say to get me off the noose. I'd rather not have myself hung in my neck, cracked over lies. Well, unfortunately, that's the way a lot of necks do get cracked. I've seen good men that have done bad things get hung for things they actually didn't do. They did a lot of stuff they could have got hung for, like trees in, things like that. But occasionally, every now and then, things catch up to folks that deserve it somehow. Now, I know I've had a checkered past in the past, Mr. Vick. Is there anything I can say or do? Well, I don't care about your checkered past. I didn't have a bad stand. It means nothing to me. <sighs> Right. But as a man you is, you ain't exactly been true to your word with me now. I God damn it, have Mr. Banks! I do not want to get hung. I do not wish to get killed. I'm seething in rage over this. <laughs> pardon my outburst, Mr. Banks. I you are pardoned one final time. Would not. I will do anything. I will. Leave the state I have to. I will go far west and you will never see my snaky ass again. But I am being I framed mind, here. I don't mind seeing your snaky ass again. Because I might be the only one trying to save your snaky ass. I wouldn't know who would have been Van Horn listening. The only time I've been there since I arrived at Odessa when I was looking for Ricky, a man in red, with a John and a Yomoto. Mr. Lundell, how well do you know Yamamoto and John? John, I've talked to you the last three days. I would say uh, casually here and there while um, drinking so that Yamamoto I met that day on the road. And he said he was after the man in red as well. Was he? Yes, what if right. I told you the man in red's gone missing? Well, I wouldn't know how or when or why. Besides, my only sub a guess would be the Peaky Blinders decided they wanted to deal with him trying to kill one of their own. Huh. I say, so you think the Blinders did it? You think they did it? That would be my only assumption, but they did also tell me he got away. So then again, if he's missing, maybe he's hiding. Hmm. Possible. It is possible he might be hiding, but you told me yourself you were looking for the man. You know, looking for the man, putting yourself in that kind of line. Realize that you're fixing to murder a man. I understand the anger. After he's attempted to kill me twice, if that counts for anything. And you didn't come and tell me nothing about it, Mr. Lundell. 
you went to dip with your wife with the letters. My parents of me when I told you not to with the third letter. They in the cabinet right there, right behind me is evidence. Mm -hmm. it's a now listen, this third I letter was much. was you're going no, you gonna listen. You gonna listen. But you what you have done is you've been fixing the glove for this man about letting me do my job. So what would you describe that if you don't have a badge or a license to bounty hunt this man? Which I could have given you easily. I understand the plot of wanting to get even. I do. But what would you call that, Mr. Lundell, if you're chasing a man down, wanting to get your hands on him, putting yourself in a line of fire in front of him, so you're going to have to go and try to kill that man? I'm going to say it's going to be attempted murder. All you're fixing to do it, ain't it? Now, let's sit back a couple of weeks. The letter was given to him before you said they're going straight to you. After that, I've told you everything, and since I've been shot, I haven't left St. Denis to come back and tell you anything about him trying to shoot me or kill me. Coming back from St. Denis is the my, first time I've arrived. Your boxes all around town, Mr. Lundell. You could have written me a letter left an open here. You could have given I a letter to anybody. You, you didn't tell no one, Mr. Lundell. It don't exactly look good in your favor when you don't tell me. That's the thing about the law. It can work for you, not just against you, Mr. Lundell. If I catch that cocksucker out there, I'm gonna put a gun to his head. I'm gonna pull the fucking trigger on him, but I know he's a no good son of a bitch taking the law into his own hands. But I have to say, Mr. Lundell, for a victim, you seem a lot like an outlaw as well, doing it yourself. Let's get to the bottom of this. We'll see what Mark says. I have a feeling I'm gonna get back, and the blinds are gonna be the only one gonna be able to pardon you on this. So I hope they like you, Mr. Lundell, because if they don't, you're going up to the fault. Well, I sure as hell hope they do. God fucking hell. Relax, Mr. Lundale. I have a feeling that I may have heard one of the blinders already say that they broke out of ropes and tried to shoot. And that will be the only reason why I'm checking with them. So it might just be you're going to be fine. Well, I sure as hell hope so, because this is definitely wearing me thin. Well, yep, you and I both. You and I both. You have any idea how long I've been looking for y'all, a, a man in red? Well, if you ask, if you did tell Picky Blinders, him and I did dress exactly alike. Oh, I had theories that the man in red was you for a while, but then I got reports that you were staring at each other in the street outside the doctor's office, Mr. Lundell. I didn't see him there, but I didn't shoot. I didn't have an opportunity, or, or he was already captured, so I don't feel the need to shoot anyways. You know, he tried to kill me that same day. Mr. Lundell, before Mark gets back with this answer, I'm gonna give you one final out here. You know about cards? You know about chances? About chances and cards? Well, yeah. I'm gonna give you a 100% chance that if you admit to me before Mark gets back and say that he might tell me right now that things are real bad and that they didn't say the awful version of events. But if you tell me right now that you did shoot that man, I will take the noose off the table and give you reduced time. But if it gets back and I find out that they don't say what that lines up with, that's going to be bad for you, Mr. Lundell, and I can't promise I can take the noose away. So, with that said, would you like to come clean, or are you going to stick to your guns as an innocent man? <laughs> I'm saying, Mr. <laughs> as I see it now, I have a 50-50 chance here if I was a gambling man. Either's... No, I'm giving you as a man of my word. If you admitted to it, I would go a little easier, but I don't like folks to fucking lie. Well, here's how this is. How I see from my position. I've told you the truth. Now I could lie to you. When you should have no wishes, unless the picky blinders have interest in you dying. I, I won't see why they would. And I could see the second option is I- Stick to your guns, Mr. Lundell. Nothing else to talk about. Yeah. No reason to laugh at my face. I'm laughing as I'm holding, holding the irony here. If you want to laugh at the dealer again, I'll give you a deuce if you want a deuce. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at the situation here. The, the irony of it, let's say. And my, if I do tell you, which would be a lie then, that I shot him, I could very well go to jail or be hung for that and kick as well. Which, no, nope, unfortunately, nope, I did nope, not shoot nope, him. Nope, nope, Mr. Lundell, you ain't listening well. 
nope, I'm gonna fix that for you and say it again. What I did say is if you came clean with it, as a man of my word, the word I was giving you, you would not be hung, and I would put my badge on that. You would not be hung. I don't think I understand what you you're saying. Go to the fault. You would go up there to the fault, you'd be charged with it, of course. But I would not gonna have you hung at all. You'd get out with reduced time, like I said. All right, then I'll say this. If I think I know what you're saying right, hopefully I'm not making a horrible decision here. I shot Ricky after he tried to kill me on that rooftop out of anger and blindness. That's fine. He shot first, right? He did. All right. Was there a separation between that moment and you shooting at him? I would say, uh, while he was on the rooftop, he shot at me and I returned fire. That's fine, Mr. Lundell. I don't give a shit about that. That is not attempted murder as you defending yourself. I'm talking about you coming out to the doctor's office and then putting them down. That's what I'm talking about. If you're in the area and you can't get away and you shoot back, have at it. I wish you all the best. May the grace of God follow you and fly them bullets into his fucking brain. I don't give a shit about that, Mr. Lundell. What I do give a shit about is if you do get away and then you see him the next time, you gun him down in cold blood, you didn't tell me about nothing. Cause when I don't know about nothing, I get real pissed. So uh, you shoot him after the fact, Mr. Lundo, if you didn't stick to your guns, and I think the blinds would have you back on this. But if they don't for some reason, and I, that's gonna be me fixing your line on me. I, I have a question for you, if, if you may indulge me a moment. How, how cold is murder? When this man has been looking to kill me for a very long time now, I say two weeks. I know a lot about this man, Mr. Lundell. Just so happens he can write tough things, but the blinds were never helping his ass. They were never helping his ass. He was writing a bunch of lies. I know all about this man. I've spoken to this man. This man went to every sheriff's office up and down East Odessa and left his P.O. box so he could talk to us, and I have been talking to him. You know why he did what he did? He said he caught you doing a bunch of stuff. Wanted to take the law into his own hands because there was no sheriff's deputies around. Just so happened I don't think that's an acceptable form of behavior, so he's fucked anyway. Man in red is definitely getting attempted murder of your ass. I have multiple reports, so the second I see him, and it ain't through letter, Mr. Lundell, he'll be up at that fault and I'll be fixing to have him hung from the neck until dead. That I give you my goddamn fucking word. He is a lot more fucked than you is. All right, Mark, before you say anything. No, well, I'm gonna... shot him after the fact, I will go much easier on you because he's the one been instigating this. But if you lying to me, but I can't trust you. You know what? For once in my own miserable life, I'm gonna stick to the truth. I did not try to shoot him afterwards. And that's Mr. my West. choice. Can I help you? Does this seem like a good time? I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to suggest you, you don't let yourself in here a second time when we interrogate someone. There's a lot of things you don't see, Mr. West. He also, you got one bad ear. You don't listen when I deputize you to stay with me. Still have not apologized for that, Mr. West. You're forgiven. Please give us some space, Mr. West. Sound attentions are high. There's a problem here. All right, Mark. Now's the time. You found him? Uh, over here, Big. Oh, hell. You good and bad news. Might as well hear the bad first, I guess. Bad news is, uh, blinders ain't around in town. We couldn't find them. I guess the good news. I'm dropping the charge of attempted murder of man in red, Ricky Thompson, for one. Hold on. Mr. Lundale. <clears throat> Picks. <clears throat> What? Outside. Sheriff. Hey, come on Howdy. in. Howdy. 
I uh, got a uh, got you a friend you're looking for, Bobby. Uh, sorry, Johnny. Let's put a pin in that. We really. Open your eyes. <sighs> Keep this real quiet, Mr. Lundale. If you're telling the truth, you might just have uh, saved yourself. I am. Um... I am telling the damn truth. I must say, I might need to go see your tailor. You, uh, you look pretty sharp, Mr. Rondale. Ask Mr. Carter and the Odessa and give him my regards. He does a fine job. Mr. Carter? All right. I might just do that. You know, we don't get paid a whole lot here to be uh, deputies, but uh, I, I try to hold myself to a certain respectable standard. You know, look decent. As one should, by the way. Appearance means a lot of things. I feel the same. No, you're probably tired, Mr. Wright. Mr. Mundale, but, uh... Hopefully this will all be over soon enough we can get things resolved. All right, sorry, Lundy, you still got you still got to wait. You still got to wait. He wasn't actually there, so I'm not happy with his answer. Well, not worry. I might as well make myself comfortable. Well, you're currently serving for wagon theft anyway, so at least that's going to go away. That is Let's good. Say, uh, that's good, right? See? It's good. You want to drink or something? I could use a glass of water, or better yet, whiskey. March, uh, Mark, fetch the whiskey, not March. Well, March and fetch the whiskey, Mark. March and fifth. Okay, I'll march. Yeah. It's so over there on the ship. It's on the shelf over there, above the bed. Above the bed, Mark. Stepping like a goose, Mark. All right, Mr. Lundell. Well, he wasn't there, so I wasn't happy with what was said. It's only what he's been told. I don't want no secondhand shit when your life is on the line. So I happen to think you, uh, I wouldn't want to have my life on the line on second guesses from second words. Well, I much appreciate the due diligence, Mr. Biggs. And that I mean it. Come on in. Real likely you're gonna hate me after this, Mr. Lundell, but do my job. Come on over here, Sheriff. Come on over. Thank you, sir. Uh do you have any Actually you mind if I chat with you for a minute? Uh, yeah, sounds good, yeah. Do you have any information about this man's There, Mr. Lundale, I can get you something. I'm fine. The whiskey will hold me over. All right, you just let me know. All right. Much well, appreciated. Thank you for the, I guess, kind words and uh, hospitality here in the cell. Well. So what have you been up to, Mr. Lundale? Uh, you know, to pass time. Last two days, recovering from a gunshot wound. Know how that goes, Mr. Lundale. Yep. It's never a fun time. At least I was resting and comfort in that nice saloon there in Saint Denis. They have beautiful women and good year wine. A real good year in there. Oh, good wine is always nice. That I agree fully. And they also have the nicest piano I've ever seen as well. I'm not much for playing piano. I don't mind listening to it, but uh can't play it to save my life. There's an instrument best learned at a young age and takes a lifetime to master. Yeah, unfortunately, 
The only thing I was taught at a young age was how to survive and handle guns. But uh, I guess I have my father to thank for putting me towards a line of work like this. Oh boy. Is the piano the only instrument you play, or are you play anything else? I can play uh, the harmonica, most others with, uh, I feel, uh, a novice's um, ability at least, but piano I have mastered. Prefer a piano. It's impressive. Eh, I'm working on playing the guitar. It's, uh, I get a lot of time pass, you know, obviously, being around town in the middle of the night, but, uh, Trying to pick it up and learn. It's taking time. Well, I'll tell you this, uh, so. The guitar is one way to a woman's heart. Not only that, music is a way to a woman's heart. Yeah. You know, maybe one of these days that'll come in handy. Right now, I'm just using it to pass time. Well, like Big said, the upside is the time that you need to serve for, uh, you know, I guess wagon theft, uh, that'll all be done and over with. You won't have to even think twice about it. Well, that's good to hear. And what, how much time would that be exactly? Just curious. I'd have to grab the book and check and then confer with uh, Biggs to see what he was uh, marking down for it. But I imagine by the time we get this figured out, it'll probably be well over. Well, good to hear, I suppose. Well, he said the undersheriff should be coming back momentarily. There he is. You got a daughter? Sorry, Mr. Lundell. We'll be in fur here. We're almost at the end of the whole thing, all right. Well, I appreciate it. It's not a rushed, ru uh, rushed case, which is all I yeah, can ask for. Yeah, I'm going to assume you didn't rush growing up, so I ain't going to rush in it too soon, all right? Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, some people uh, get upset if we take our time to get things right, but uh, I, I always have to tell them that I'd rather get it right than rush to a conclusion and get it wrong. Now, as I see it, when you do detective work, it's very important you get the right choice made, especially if someone's life on the line. Educated folk can see that quite easily. The dull, dimwitted idiots out there are hasty and they are brash. I agree, Mr. Lundale. I'm fortunate that uh, you have such a past. I have a feeling you'd have made a fine lawman. Perhaps I could have, but sometimes when you find yourself good at something, you try to stick with it for as long as you can. I'm 47 years old, and I think it's time I slow down anyways, considering that my body just isn't keeping up like it used to. I understand what you mean, Mr. Lundale. 36. I'm starting to feel it a little bit myself. Yeah. I'm sure by now some of the folks that I knew from old, uh, New Alexandria have heard of some of my uh, 
unscrupulous feats of the past. But that is the past. I know it's such a long time ago. I agree. Some men can change, you know? People just don't seem to understand that. I have a question for you. Did you fight in the war by any no, You might be too young to fight in the, the Civil War. Uh, no. That was my father, sir. See, I was drafted as a child towards the end uh, of it. I ain't found him. I heard Flynn told me I couldn't, but I talked to Jules for a bit, but she was... Right, Mr. Lundell, you need a drink or anything? Maybe another glass of whiskey if you so can manage. Yeah. I'll grab it. You got whiskey in here? No, I only yeah. give me a glass. Right I want your name, sir, if you don't mind me asking. Uh, Sheriff Baker is saying anything, sir. It's nice to meet you. And I haven't had the pleasure yet. Nice town you have there, I must say. Very luxurious. Yeah, I appreciate that. Just don't finish heard, the whole uh, thing. Heard this shit. You finished it? No, no. I'm asking oh. not to finish it. Oh, you're going to finish thing. it. There you go. No, I'm just letting him. <laughs> yeah, he's been in here a while. So it's... He's been cooperating, anyway. with yeah, cooperating with us, as far as I know. Well, that's unfortunate. I've just been uh, informed that he came out of the doctor's office shooting an answer with a certainty. Oh. Mr. Lundell, you may have been the same return on that. I find that uh, ironic that I turn a leaf and I find myself being framed. I guess all my misdeeds just did catch up to me. Mr. Lundell, unless you have anything else, you can tell me. I'm exhausted for you soon. Well, I do have now two witness statements. That I'm sure when you come on out of that doctor's office firing at the man. You know you gave me that opportunity there, but I'm not going to take it because I know for a fact what my actions were, and I did not come out of the office shooting my gun. And I will stick to that. Sheriff, how you feeling about this in y'all city? Uh, let, let me talk to you for a minute. I'll be right over. I'll, I'll be right over there, Sheriff. Give me a moment. Rocker, if, you, if you're lying, you need to come clean because he's going to collect heads on this. That's all I can say. Unfortunately, this time, I am not lying on the Sheriff Biggs. All right. You said you uh, were drafted into the war? I was a young age, towards the end of it, when they were losing badly. Oh, I was a South, by the way. I should mention that as well. Well, you see, sir, I'm from Tennessee. Yeah. Funny what war does to a child. Yep. Now, when my father came back, uh, he was a different man. And, uh, well, at least that's what my mother said. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was born while he was away. So. I would say most of us unlucky who got captured like myself, being so young, spent a lot of time in the mud in a very dirty camp. 
as prisoners. If your dad was amongst them, it will change you for sure, son. I'll tell you that. Well, like I said before, it's my father who uh, taught me how to survive. And I can only imagine some of the things he went through with uh, men like yourself. Yeah. My, how to do these things. My father handed me a gun, brought me in, barely big enough to wear any clothes, and joined in. Well... I do hope that maybe, no matter what happens through the end of the day, that uh, whatever may have happened in the past, Mr. Lundale, it, it remains in the past, and things that haunt you will go away. I do find an irony in this, though. I have lied in the past, and I have cheated, and I've done things that a miserable man would do. But for once in my life, I'm telling the truth, and I'm behind bars for it. What a twisted sense of humor this world has. Yep. It's a sad world that when we are at our best is when we are treated our worst. Are you also a deputy back in the old state of New Alexandria? No, nah, sir. I was a... I was a bounty hunter, but uh, before I left, a uh, deputy there passed on some wise words, and uh, I guess you could say he kind of pushed me towards picking up the badge. Well, I reckon then you've probably heard about some of my feats back then, I'd imagine. Uh, stories from saloons and various places. It's always hard to tell what's truth and what's some wild fiction created by somebody. Well, you know, it piqued my interest. What were the people saying back then? What were the stories about old Riker? Well, I mean, that was quite some time ago. But, uh, apparently you were quite, uh, some group called the Silver Bastards. Am I correct in that? Yes, you are. A long while ago. Yeah, everything from, uh, Robberies to attempting to poison a, a state representative. It's a long list of things that, uh, to some folk, it you know it seems like normal everyday life. To me, it's quite uh, quite something else to think that a group of people can go so long doing so many things. And when you're organized, it's hard to take down someone who's organized and careful, who once they are doing crimes, live on the road and not within cities. Makes sense. Did you hear about my recent one before I left the state? It was a while back still, but uh, I robbed a train full of deputies. Could you believe that? With four men. I, How do you do, sir? I believe I had left the state before that happened. You know, I had nearly a thousand dollars. I don't know what would have been worth here in Odessa. But if I would have made it here with that money, I consider myself probably retired and rich. <laughs> you probably would have been the richest man in Odessa there, Mr. Uh, Lundale. But I tell you, uh, if you cross the same plains I did, the natives out there, the, the bears, the wolves, the unpadded path of roads yet to be created, made a long time to get up to Odessa. Lost nearly my entire savings my good horse, and so on. I know what you mean. Lost a lot of things coming to this, uh, this town. It's, uh, been a trap. By the sounds of it, coming over to me, I've lost my life as well. Funny thing that is. Well, maybe not your life, but, uh, well, depending on how this goes, maybe some time. I'm hoping time. I can live with time. And, uh, maybe, uh, most likely a pretty hefty fine, but, uh, well, I'm sure if you're willing to have turned that leaf and work with some folk, any sort of fine that they decide to give you, 
We could probably work with some folk and take care of that. By the way, you want something funny about the state representative poisoning scheme? Uh, sure. I don't think that was my idea, or I don't even remember talking about that. I think that was a long time ago. Perhaps I did mention something along the lines out of anger, but I know I was, uh, I don't remember now. I said that he was dating a venomous, poisonous woman that would probably poison him to death in his sleep. That's what I said. Uh, so something simply said in passing, taking yeah. a turn of words. I think that's what it was, because now I think about it, uh, I had mentioned to someone a long time ago that the woman he was uh, due to marry was part of my crew at one point, and she told me she prefers to poison her victims. But I guess since she was part of my old crew, that was probably why I was connected to it. Well, hello. Yep. Way things have a way of turning. People getting connected to things that they have nothing to do with. Yep. Like I said, Mr. Lundale, it's always hard to say what's the truth and what isn't. People spin fantastic tales in the middle of the night and come up with stories that they think might be true. Now, you can always see through the stories when there's a certain amount of finite detail to them that give them life. Sometimes people are lacking detail or a memory of a situation. Yep. It's, uh... It's always interesting to see just which comes out the truth, because, like you said, true memories of things tend to be more foggy than some that uh, they claim are memories, but are just fancy lies. Well, I imagine this. As you are a deputy, the more time you spend around liars and cages, the more you get used to figuring out the truths and the false. See, I won't lie in my past as a silver bastard, the leader of the silver bastards, that is. Um, I've had a silver tongue, and I'm known for a silver tongue, that is. Well, hopefully they get things figured out here real soon, because uh, seems like we might need to build some more jail cells here in Rhodes. I heard Santa Lee has a few themselves. Yeah, yeah, they have quite the fancy office. I could only hope we had at least one more. Uh, if I don't think it's a hop, skip away, and if you had to transfer the prisoners there, I bet you would. Yep, you have to bring it up with the undersheriff. Um, so I'll be right back, Mr. Rondale. I, uh -huh. I don't want to interrupt what's going on over there, but Mud just stabbed a fella in the street. Oh, God damn it. Rope yeah. him up. So, yeah. Jasper Fields is bringing him back over here. Yeah. Right. Jasper Fields from Strawberry still here after I screamed in his face to get the fuck out of here. What the hell is he I doing? Go back at Strawberry. How you doing there, Mr. Lundale? Well, I'd say out of most jails I've been in, this one's the most accommodating, so there's that. Well, that's good to hear. Glad to hear everything's accommodating. So... It seems you in here for a bit of a, a bit of a tight spot here, huh? That is the case. All right, I guess it sounds like you've been talking to my under Sheriff Biggs here and uh, Sheriff Baker for a bit, right? Yes, I have. Uh huh. So, got a bit of a predicament here. Well, the thing about it is. You know, you, you know this better than I do, so you, I don't know. <clears throat> you deal with it. Don't you? I don't know where I was well, going with that, actually. I just fucking woke up. <laughs> you know what? Mr. Lundell, I ain't going to come to it right now. I'm going to let you go. I've decided. I have statements against you, Mr. Lundell. Father's attempted murder. 
But there is one man I think is a very important piece of a puzzle, but I don't feel looking at the picture is fair until I've spoken to the real man, the real man that I know gives me the honest to God truth. I think I'm being lied to, Mr. Lundell. I don't like you, Mr. Lundell, but I ain't going to have him sent up to the fault and possibly hung when I might be wrong. You're free to leave. I appreciate that, and the feelings are mutual, I suppose. Come on out. You owe $20 for wagon theft. You want to pay that now? Now, let me go by the bank real quick. I'll grab it. He stabbed a man in the throat. This is a Blackwater arrest. And I told them, no, it ain't, son. Here you go. Thank you, Mr. Lundell. I ain't even gonna count it. I think you're telling my trooper not care to admit. That's all they ever do. Uh, I did leave my coat inside the cell there. We'll get the coat for We have mud pass it down. Mr. Lundell, before you do leave, you'll be returned of your weapons. But I mean this. With all of my goddamn honor I have, don't skip town or else. Well enough, I understand. If you're told to come in, I'm gonna go a little easy on you because I think, like you said, people have tried to frame you. But by God, if you put up a fight, I will make sure the fault is not needed, Mr. Lundell. You are luckier. You are luckier that myself, the sheriff, and Mr. Chanwick here happen to believe what you're saying. I apologize if I am wrong, and I'll make it right to you if I is. I happen to think you might be uh, a man that's a victim, let the anger get the best of him, and didn't think straight about telling us what the fuck was going on, got himself caught up a bunch of shit, and then someone tried to frame your ass. I don't know why someone's trying to frame Mr. Lundell. I don't have all the answers. But I do only have more questions, so I'll be in touch. So the uh, steel box is what exactly? Uh, let me double check. I believe it is 868. Six, eight. And I appreciate the, the thoroughness of your investigation, Mr. Biggs. I promise you this, Mr. Lundell. If someone does this to you, they will be getting the exact same thing in there. It's just the way we operate. That's someone good to hear. getting murdered now, them the old ways of the West. It's new days now. Mr. Lundell, you're free to leave. Right there. Get my jacket through there. Well, that ain't the time. Um. Yeah. My guns as well. Well, you can get your guns back. But your boat action over there is mine against the wall. Under the mat, you can grab them. Hey! Hey! Oh. Nope. Did he punch you like this? Just like this? Huh? See, Is this face like a goddamn coyote? Well, I'll huh? try to be staying up. Become a gentleman of sorts. I appreciate huh? it. I don't want to see you stabbing people in my... Well, his points definitely made him there. Well, the sheriff's a good man. Um, things are over like here. Thank you. Much appreciated. That is my dear Ringo. Take care, gentlemen. Take care. <clears throat> Mr. Lundell, like I said back there, straighten down for now. We'll call you in. It'll leave a be to let you know you're good and not to worry about nothing. Or it's going to be going up to the fault. I will tell you one thing, Mr. Lundell. You'll be getting my full recommendation, not getting the noose. If you do have to serve follow it, regardless. Well, I do appreciate that. 
I've uh, I come to Odessa to be a changed man. I'm trying different venues of business these days, and uh, it seems like the probably folks out there who do not much care for me. Either they're from the past or the new folks who are trying to take me up or something. I don't understand, Mr. Lundell, why so many folks would lie about you, but I reckon they is. So if you do have plans about roads, take them somewhere else. Well, I don't have any plans. If I do ever get the inkling for plans, I sure as will respect your city and not do it here. Thank you, Mr. Lundell. You're a kind soul. I just think someone doesn't like it for some reason. I happen to think it's actually not too bad. Well, I'm going to head over to the store to sell the rest of my uh, ammunition to make a bit of money since I'm now broke. Understood, Mr. Lundell. Straight and narrow now. Yes, sir.